In this video, I will be demonstrating about the frequent problems in Excel. The first one which we are going to see is formulas not working when I try to drag it down. Guys, this is really a kind of uh, not a major problem but sometimes you will get it when you work on Excel and you don't know what to do on that time and then every time you need to press, uh, I mean edit your cell manually and then it, the cell will get updated automatically. So before we see all these things, let's go for the live demonstration and then um, I will explain you how you can solve this problem. So I have a salary uh, table which consists of uh, the designation and then salary the benefits. And uh, the first one, like uh, you can see here, I've just highlighted this cell and then always you need to look at this address bar. What is this address, right? So this is D10 and this is indicating by D11. So let's do the simple calculations. So uh, I want to just sum up salary and then benefits which will be my total so you can see immediately it is saying 15 plus 2000 which is equal to 17000 so now what we will do normally is excel will make your job very easy so once you've done your formula just drag it down to the very bottom end and suddenly you will get surprised what huh? how it's how it is possible like 18000 plus 2200 still it is showing us 17000 which is not correct so if you press F2 on your keyboard and then press enter again it will get updated you don't know the reason why it is not doing and then uh, so every time you need to do like this which will uh, completely give you a wrong answers for you uh, but you need to remember that this is not an uh, no, frequent problem I mean uh, a major uh, Excel glitch on Excel the thing is some of the settings on the formula calculation has been changed so now I will tell you how to change this so here you can go to the formulas menu and and under the calculations group you can see the calculation options sometimes if you write VBA like to optimize the code you need to switch between automatic and manual so the automatic is the normal one the Excel should be in always I mean uh, uh, on the regular mode right so you need to switch back this to manual to automatic done so here you can see immediately like uh, uh, as soon as I changed that all my values get updated right so this is the easy method you need to remember that uh, at what time it will be benefit is when you write a very big uh, VBA programming when you build a very big project using VBA, you can switch between automatic and calculation. But when you when you set your code to manual, the code will run very fast. And then once at the end of the subroutine, you need to switch back to the automatic, right? So this time, this uh, I mean, some of the times it might happen in Excel. Uh, I have another scenario for you. Like uh, you can see here again, I have a same kind of table, but when I highlight this cell. Um, like you can see here uh, um, the C the cell G10 which is been renamed as get salary and then the benefits has been renamed to get benefits so this is called named references in Excel so this is a kind of useful thing like named reference will be very very useful like you can set for a individual cell or you can select for a uh, I mean uh, you can set the name reference for the group of cell so all you need to do is just uh, click on the cell and then under the formulas define name so if you type some name like uh, so this will be very useful uh, uh, to easily identify your calculation and then the name just like calling our names in a real life world so instead of going for G10 and then uh, so I can select the particular group of cell and then name it as uh, this is my box like box box one so when you write programming you can easily identify where is my box one so always this will be di displayed here so if you select get benefits it will directly go here so now I'm going to do the same thing like uh, let's switch back to manual and then uh, press equal to this one get salary plus get benefits which is equal to something thousand and then drag it down all the way to the bottom so it is not updating and then when I switch back to automatic right still it is not updating because the reason is this automatic and calculation mode won't work I mean if you switch back between automatic and calculation mode this won't work because V10 
we have used name references here you need to use only cell references that is why I have mentioned on my note very particularly if you use name ranges for a cell and try to drag it down it definitely won't work if you use your cell reference so that's it for uh, today guys thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel to get more tips and tricks